The 2018 Amas will hold this October in Kigali, Rwanda in East Africa. Now to some music business now with Spotlight Gospel Rap Act, Lumina, whose new singles is generating impressive buzz. Having honed her poetry skills, multi-talented artist Adora Mbeludenia takes her positive approach to life from social media into the music industry as she announces her official debut with a music video under the Elias Lumina. The graduate of economics and legal studies from Northern Kentucky University in the United States of America says her mission is to make conscious rap music commercial in Nigeria. I believe that there's no reason why, why message-based um, rap cannot be commercial. And, and that's where I think that, you know, in the past, you know, we've sort of got it wrong in the sense that um, we always believe like, you know, if you're an underground rapper, you're an underground rapper, stay true to it. And that's what I'm trying to take conscious music to what we call secular stages. Like that's, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, so I'm not, I believe that my music is commercial. I believe that, you know, if you listen to it, you like it. Some people just listen to it and like the melody. That's what I was saying. Like you can't really classify music into, oh, it's only about the messaging. You know, people listen to it and they're just dancing to, to the sound of it, you know. So ultimately, um, for me, it's really it's commercial. You know, I'm, it's full commercial music and that's really what I'm pushing. Um, but it's conscious music that is commercial. And people who are doing it well is like Childish Gambino. You know, he's doing it really well. Chance the Rapper is doing it. You know, Lecrae is doing it. You know, they're not saying, oh, I'm a conscious musician. So, you know, I'm not trying to feature with Kanye. You know, I want to feature with Davido, I want to feature with Wizkid, I want to feature, you know, all of those guys because, I, I mean, why not? You know, why not? Raise your fist in the air if you know this. You are his, nothing small for him to notice. On the path to be great, no more hopeless. Close your eyes, realize the words we chorus. Um, my message has always been very cent centered around purpose, finding your purpose, living your purpose, um, being a, your authentic self, and just remem remembering that you are light, right? Um, and so in my community, for instance, people have tagged me the bright light, right? Because I'm that person who always helps people just make decisive ad actions, you know, take decisive actions to basically solve problems or, you know, just get their greatest work to the world. And so I've been doing that. Um, even in my social media community, you know, so it's not just motivation or inspiration, but it's actually empowering them, right? And so, again, that's why I said for the music, it's sort of like, it's the same purpose being expressed, but it's just being expressed with a different medium. Do I think people are listening? Absolutely. I do believe that people are listening. And I could see that, you know, by the traction that even my new song just got. Um, because people are also in a place right now where it, for them, yes, they enjoy the melody, of, 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 of music, but at the same time, they're in places where, you know, they need that encouragement. And sometimes, you know, we don't even think that we need it until we hear someone else, you know, say something. And that's why even with social media, you see people reposting quotes. The moment someone says something, it's like they're reposting it. They can relate to it and, you know, it does something for them. Um, so I really believe that, you know, messaging is so powerful. It's so powerful. It can make, make or break an individual. Bright light this night, you part the Red Sea. Bright light this night, you live a legacy. We are the light of the world. Your light shines through us. We're gonna change the world. Once the time. Born to biracial parents, a Nigerian father and Sri Lankan mother, but raised in Lagos, southwest Nigeria, Lumina was introduced to music early in life when she recognized its power. Inspirational living, I am the Lord seed. I know what the world needs. I bring direction, defy all convention, unite the whole dimension. Tonight's a celebration. Today we rise up, size up, push lives up, rise up, let's rise up, lights up, horizons. Sit back, relax, and let him guide me. I put a pause on this moment and let him find me. How do I say this? Flip the pages, let me lay this.
Uh, music for me really started, I, I think, when I was much younger. Um, you know, I always used to listen to my brother's music, the type of music that they used to listen to, which was very uh, hip hop, um, but more conscious music. So, you know, it was a lot of KRS One, um, Talib Kweli, Mostef, Common. Um, and that was the sort of music that, you know, I was exposed to um, really early. And I just thought it was such a powerful tool because these guys weren't really focused on the melody as much as they were focused on the message that they were passing. And so, you know, it, would, it really started as poetry to me. So for me, it was, you know, I started off writing poetry um, and, you know, I never really thought I was going to rap the poetry. <laughs> I was just writing it and, you know, enjoying the fact that I was able to get out the message that was in my heart. Um, but it started properly as music only about a year ago. Um, one of the things that you know really came to me was that whenever we talk about David and the Bible, um, we talk about him as king, we talk about him as you know um, shepherd boy, but we never really talk about the fact that he was a psalmist and his way of of you know expressing himself to God and just you know talking about his relationship with God was really um, through the psalms. And he was a musician, <laughs> you know. I thought that was very cool. So I was like, you know what? Um, it will be interesting to really get out, you know, the way I feel about things and what I want people to hear and, you know, how I want to impact lives using music as a platform. So music for me is more of a tool. It's not the end itself. It's a, it's a means, you know, to really express purpose. Although rap in Nigeria has seen a decline in recent years, Lumina believes a comeback is on the horizon. Tonight's a celebration. Today we rise up, size up, push lives up, wise up, let rise up, lights up. Um, I feel like a lot of the people who used to rap before and, you know, who did like conscious music, you know, sort of deviated um, for whatever reason. And I can understand that because, you know, sometimes the market sort of takes you where it takes you. Um, but I, I'm also seeing that it's starting to come back. So I almost feel like 2019 is going to be a hip hop year for, for Nigeria. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of rappers are, are starting to, you know, really come back. And I think that's because globally as well, um, you know, hip hop um, and under, what we used to call underground hip hop is sort of coming back to the surface. You know, there's just so much going on in the world. How do you express those things? It, hip hop is the easiest way to express those things, you know, that you really want to get out of your chest and you really want people to hear. Um, and so, you know, naturally, I feel like we're gravitating towards that, you know, so which is exciting to see. Great, no more hopeless. Close your eyes, realize the words we chorus. Nothing can dim your light. You carry him inside. You're shining now so bright. Although her music often refers to God, Lumina chooses to be identified as a conscious rapper, not gospel. Nothing about David the Shepherd Boy that said he was going to become king.